about I'm about to head inside the supermarket here to get a couple of things, including some dog food, you know, laundry, soap and shit like that. But first, allow me to send my uh, well wishes, thoughts and prayers, and support to the one and only Ozzy Osbourne, who, as was revealed on Good Morning America, that he has... Parkinson's disease. I was thinking about about when he's mentioned that, you know, basically the kind of Parkinson's from what I understood and what I saw in uh, the Good Morning America interview wasn't wasn't it's not the kind that's going to really take his life from what I understand. If it is feel free to correct me, you know, I don't know too much about it, the only thing I know about, about it so far is that you tend to shake a lot, and you often see illusions from what I heard from some commercial describing this condition, you know, if anybody knows about it more than I do, please let me know in the comments below this video. Now, this explains why for the past couple of years when whenever, whenever we see Ozzy perform on stage whether you saw him live or saw clips of him on YouTube on the news or whichever we always see him stand in front of his mic stand almost motionless singing out blah 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 um, I am Iron Man you know over the mountain, back at the moon. We hardly see him move around at all. In the past, he would often walk around the stage, you know, do a little jump here and there, do this uh, classic maneuver that he used to do with Black Sabbath. We don't really see much of that anymore, and now we know why. Now, I gotta add this in. I remember watching the Reels channel back at the other place that we used to live in. And there was a, kind of like a documentary on him. Somewhat of a documentary. A little analyst from all these music journalists and uh, reporters who've talked about him in the past, you know, interviewed him before. And apparently... He was diagnosed with Parkinson's probably years before. And I think they're probably just revealing it now. And I'm thinking to myself, when I used to watch the Osbournes on MTV back around 2002, this may explain why we saw see him his hands shaken at various times. Of course, uh, a couple of magazines reported that it was due to a, some sort of a palsy that he got from all the years of drug addiction and alcoholism. You know, you got to keep in mind that if you spend how many years as an addict of booze or drugs and you get off that stuff, it's going to affect you physically sooner or later. So keep that in mind, you know. Look at uh, Nivak Ogre from Skinny Puppy, a former heroin addict. He had issues with his knee that made him uh, possible to walk at times. You know, he would bend down and all of a sudden it would hurt like fucking crazy. Plus, David Crosby, a former addict himself, he would, ever, he would have later go on to have a kidney transplant because of all the drugs he did years before. Now, I'm praying that this this Parkinson's that he has doesn't get worse. You know, I hope it's treatable. I hope it's very um, treatable to where he's able to function like he always does, you know, function normally. And uh, when he goes on the road, 
this year. Hopefully he'll continue his tour because he wasn't able to last year because of these the health issues he had, you know. Let's all gather up and give him support. You know, let's cheer the shit out of him when he comes on stage, you know. For going out there and, you know, and braving this condition to go out and give us what we need, which is good fucking heavy metal rock and roll. You know. And while we're on the subject of sending support, we should also send support to a Glenn Tipton of Judas Priest. He was diagnosed with it a couple a few years back. You know, we should also send support to uh, Michael G. Fox, the actor. He's had it for how many years? In fact, you know, send support to anybody who has it, you know, because for what I understand, it's a fucking bitch to deal with. You know, so if, he, if Ozzy does decide to go on tour this summer or this year, anytime this year, that's all, um, Show up, you know, give him our support, our, our thanks, our love for him for all the years of incredible music that he's given to us with or without Black Sabbath, you know, let them know how much we love and care about him, all right, I'm Dr. Earl, thank you for watching this video, subscribe to my channel, leave some comments below, hit that like button. You can't kill rock and roll, it's here to stay, yeah.